Hi, welcome to Artistic Tips with Ian. I'm Ian and today we're going to talk about how to protect your photos by watermarking them. The reason why you should watermark your photos is to protect your work from being used without your discretion. Uh, many companies do this such as Image Shack, Shutterstock, and today I'm going to show you what I believe is the easiest uh, way to watermark your photos for free. So I believe you'll really like this. So the first thing you'll need to do is typing www.watermark.ws and click enter. Now as you can see, if you look at the top right of your screen, you'll see the login button. You need to click it. Now you can connect with either Facebook, Google, or you can create a specific username for your watermark WS login. I prefer to connect with Facebook. Now you need to put in your password. After you've put in your password, you enter it into a page that looks like this. Uh, for demonstration purposes, I'm going to click the new folder so you can see it from scratch. Now once you've done that, click here to upload. Now you can choose whatever photo you want to upload. I'm going to pick one of the paintings I've done. Let's see where I kept it. Okay. Now once it once it has loaded up, uh, click on the image to edit. Now you have three options. You can either add text, logo, or template. I'll discuss this later on. Now the first thing we're going to look at is using the text logo. So click on the text button. Now you Okay, now you can be able to write anything you want. Let's just say your name was Bob and this was your painting. You type in Bob painting. All right, and um, now you'd want to make it bigger because it looks smaller. So you can use the size, rotate the size button and drag it to the right to make it bigger. And if you want to make it smaller, drag it to the left. Now if you want to change the font style, click on this button and you have various fonts you can choose from. You can choose that one, you can choose this one. So you get the point, you can pick whatever you want. In addition to this, you can be able to choose the font color. Let's just say I didn't want it to be white, I wanted it to be blue, uh, maybe green. So you can choose whatever you want. Uh, you can also change the background color of the text. So the fill doesn't have to be uh, transparent. You can just go here and add a, a certain color you want. Uh, but let's just say you don't want that. You can just go back and click the, tra the transparent button over here and it's gone. And you can make your text thicker. Uh, you know, it, for it to stand out a little bit more, they call it stroke. So if you want, the more you stroke it by dragging it to the right, the more thicker it becomes, the more obvious you can see it's Bob's painting. And um, you can use the single style, which is this, what you were seeing right now, or the tilt, tiled, the tiled style, where you just see Bob painting, Bob painting throughout the image. Now I think this is kind of detracts from the painting, so I'll just use a single uh, style. And the most important thing about watermarking is to reduce the uh, the opacity. So I would use the opacity bar. I'll drag it to the left to reduce the opacity. The more I drag it to the left, the harder it is to see. So it, you know that's up to you. That's up to your discretion. But that's how you use the text. Now, if you want to apply you can apply it. But if you want to try the other examples, which we will for this demonstration, you can click cancel.
The second option we're going to try is the logo option. So click the logo button. Now you can upload a custom logo. Click that. All right, um, let me see. All right, this is a logo I'm going to use. It's from DeviantArt. It's an icon, but for the demonstration, you'll get it. Now you can drag it by uh, clicking on the icon, and you can change the opacity. So if I drag it to the right, it will be uh, less transparent, but I, if I drag it to the left, it will be more transparent. Uh, you can make it bigger or smaller by dragging, clicking the scale button and dragging it to the left. And if you're interested in applying, once you apply, it becomes permanent. So you want to try which option you want. If you're interested in a logo, you'd use the logo editor. If you are interested in just a text, you can use the text editor. Um, that's pretty much it. Uh, we're going to try the last one, which is template. Now you need to click the template icon. Once you click it, you'll have two options. You have the saved option and the preset option. Now, if this is the first time using Watermark WS, you won't have this yet because you haven't used the program. But by the end of this demonstration, if you log in again, you will see a template. I've done this before. And uh, this is my logo, I am pictures. So I can use this for this demonstration, or I can use the presets. We'll use both. So let's just say I wanted to use the one I've already set out. I'll click Select. Do not click Apply, because once you apply it, it'll become permanent. It'll become permanent, and you won't be able to remove it. So I recommend click the Select button first. Now, once you click the Select button first, you can modify it if you want. Let's just say I want to make it bigger. I can make it bigger. And uh, let's just say I wanted to increase the, um, let's just say I wanted to reduce the transparency, I would move it towards the right. Whatever you choose, you can do it that way. You can click cancel for now. Let's click it again for the presets. Now they have this preset, so we'd click it. And the preset is right here. Now, obviously, you can't see it, so I'm going to change the color so it'll be easier. That's the preset right there. You can put in your signature. This painting was actually done by me. Uh, before I said it was Bob's painting, but you get the point. I'm the one who actually did this. So, anyway, uh, th that's how you'd use the, one of the presets if you didn't have one. And you can click Apply if you want. Now... Since this is just for a demonstration, I like how this one looks, so I'm going to click Apply. And it has saved my watermarks already, and I'm going to save it as a template. Now I want to print it out, so I'm going to click Done. And now I can be able to download the image. It's downloading. open the image and there you go that's the watermark i hope you enjoyed this video if you like this video please like and subscribe if you have any uh any ideas of what you want me to talk about write in the comment section below and i'll probably make a video on it so yeah see you in the next tutorial